Here's how you can change your shortcuts in Final Cut Pro. So if we click on Final Cut Pro, go to Commands, click on Customize. You now have all the shortcuts that you can put onto your keyboard. Now for me, I always put Q for delete because when I'm editing, I usually have my finger on the Q button so I'm able to just easily delete. And then I have Command B is to cut the video clip, so the blade tool. So I'll click on Q and over here I already have it on delete. So I'll go ahead and erase all of those so now when i save it so now when i click on q it's not deleting so go to final cut commands customize i'll click on q then i'll scroll down to delete and i'll just drag the delete over here to q and now you have it right here that q deletes so i also do the same thing for command and q so i'll click on command so now I'll drag delete over here so now I have delete for Q and command Q. And the reason why I do that is I always have my fingers on command B for the blade tool. And then I have it for Q. But if I do it too fast, usually command and Q quits Final Cut. And so I would accidentally quit Final Cut all the time. So I just made both command Q and Q delete. So I stopped accidentally quitting Final Cut. So now I click on save and exit out. Now I click on Q. It deletes. I'll hit command Z to redo. If I hold command and Q. It deletes. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Please consider commenting, liking, and subscribing as it helps this channel to grow. And thank you so much for watching.